What's going on guys? Welcome to Facebook Ads Friday week 22. This is a series where every single week I show you two winning dropshipping products. Let's not waste any time and let's jump straight into product number one. Let's take a look at product number one then. It has 1.2 million views, nearly 3,000 comments and 1,200 reactions. It's a toy for bath time for any new parents or grandparents that you can stick to the side of the bath using those suction cups and it allows you to put together different kind of slide designs and ultimately just make bath time a bit more enjoyable for the child. Any products that fit this niche of the kind of grandparent slash new parent niche. In my mind, toys like this that kind of fit that grandparent niche or that new parent niche are always the best products to choose when it comes to advertising on Facebook. It's no secret the average user age is starting to creep up and up and up because younger demographics tend to migrate towards Instagram or TikTok. And certainly in my experience, even back when I first started in 2016, since then the strongest buyers has always been, have always been females over the age of 50. So how do I know it's a winning product? We've already covered the engagements, 1,200, 3,000 comments, and 1.2 million views. It's a relatively new ad. Um, created on Saturday 25th of February so it's only been going um, two maybe three weeks and it's already picked up quite a bit of um, traction so we're just going to go through the comments now from most relevant and ultimately what we're looking for is evidence of interest and even better evidence that people have actually bought this product so Ellie's posted saying can you please ask mommy and daddy to buy this Craig's bought great toy lots of fun we bought one for our 18 month to play with it sticks to the bath tiles fine and also sticks to the windows good for playing outside of the bath so on and so forth so there's one person who bought that that was three days ago Craig Taylor from three days ago has said he's just ordered one Lisa from four days ago has said that she's just ordered one this person here posted a couple of weeks ago um, an image of their setup which is perfect this is marketing gold things like this comments like this from people that have said they've bought the products from you is brilliant for anybody who then comes across the ad because they're much more willing to trust you as a business if they've seen that other people are also trusting you on Facebook as well so stuff like this is brilliant if you can get family and friends to leave comments and better yet image reviews like this on your posts it's going to help your ad results significantly Natalie from one week ago says that she's just ordered one this person here from four days ago I've just ordered him it so lots and lots of people buying this product I'm just going to double check the newest comments as well just to make sure it is still active so four minutes ago we had a comment four minutes ago we had a comment five minutes 11 minutes 13 minutes 34 minutes 25 minutes three hours 45 minutes 46 minutes there is a significant amount of people all commenting on this ad within the last one hour so that just goes to show that this business is spending a significant amount of money on this ad and therefore it must must be working. This is a winning product. Next up, let's take a look at the business that's selling this product. So this is jackies-kids.uk. So we can see they're selling the products for an extremely cheap price of £19.90. However, it does say here that the offer ends on Wednesday, which is today. Is that legit? I don't know. I'd have to check. I'd have to come back tomorrow and see if they're still selling it at that same price. But more than likely, it's probably some sort of like scarcity offer, trying to encourage people and pressure them into buying the product the day they see it. It's fairly kind of typical and standard kind of like textbook when it comes to drop shipping product description layouts. So typically what you have is like a heading followed by a paragraph, followed by a accompanying image like they've done here. So heading, paragraph, GIF, heading, paragraph image and then they finish off with the actual kind of finer details or the actual features bullet pointed the key points that a consumer wants to know following that they go into looks reviews so again a very kind of typical and textbook product description layout and there's a reason why it's textbook and that's because it works so I've gone ahead and found the product on AliExpress as well so we can see exactly what to expect in terms of profit margins. Um, this is a SWJ toy store, 94% positive and in business since 2018. So they're a pretty decent store. It's quite rare you'll find um, suppliers that have been in business that long on AliExpress unless they do a particularly good job. The reason I like these guys is because they're competitive in terms of price um, and they also offer lots of different variants and options um, for this product, which means when you get some onto your store then you can upsell into these bigger packages so you can get 48 pieces or 34 pieces get 66 12 24 so on and so forth if you go middle of the road then you're looking at 10 pounds 30 delivered that does include the on-time guarantee as well within 15 days 
if we head back to their site we can see they're selling it for 20 pounds so it only leaves 10 pounds room in there that leads me to think that they're probably working with some form of agent because they have that traction and therefore they're sourcing it a bit cheaper they could even be running it very close to kind of break even as kind of like a loss leader just kind of build up their emailing lists knowing that they'll be able to kind of recoup those costs by upselling or cross-selling further products down the line either way though a brilliant products that people want to buy and we're seeing the evidence that people are buying so definitely a products for consideration if you're still in the market looking for something to kind of invest your time and money into and build a store around moving on to product number two is this next stretcher so given the days and times that we're living in when more and more people are spending more and more time on mobile phones on tablets on computers sat at desks um, hunched on the sofa um, i think it's fair to say that more and more people are getting hunched shoulders more and more people are getting bad posture so there's an increase in demand for products like this and this is reflected in the engagements and the results that this business have been having so if we jump into the engagements and have a look at when this was created wednesday of february 15th 2023 um so what's that about a month since then they've had 1.2 thousand comments 8,000 reactions and over 3 million views so it goes without saying it must be making the money because the post doesn't get this level of traction and eyeballs unless somebody's spending money to boost it and put it push it out there that far so we'll start with the most relevant comments i have one of these and i love it dawn i have one of these and it's absolutely amazing diane four days ago i love this beth what a difference this made in my neck i love mine two weeks ago brenda i have one and it works great three weeks ago kathy four days ago i bought one lisa two weeks ago love mine janice i love mine anna me too i ordered hopefully will help with my problem one week ago kathy i ordered one weeks ago still haven't received it so just make sure if you do sell this job you have a more reliable supplier but it just goes to show people are definitely definitely buying this product jumping onto the shopify store selling this then um, they're called gpmsign.com if you want to check them out this looks like an actual chinese supplier to me by the way that it's kind of laid out and how kind of amateurish and basic it looks so it goes without saying that you've got yourself a winning product Product here however if you're going to make it a success then I would brand it a one product store and just make it look so much more professional and then this actual Shopify store here so at the top they have some scarcity to try and encourage people into making the sale they have the Mother's Day sale obviously with Mother's Day coming up it's current it shows they're active and relevant for the times the different variants and it does snap between the different imagery as well and they also have a buy two or buy three get two free so this is probably how they're making the money rather than somebody who spent $17 on one for $34 most people are probably going to buy two of these things to gift to a friend or family member and if we jump onto Aliexpress to see how much these things cost we can see that this business here with free shipping is selling it for 86 pence so unless this supplier so it's a top brand it's called Ling Pen official store if you want to check them out and buy from these guys if you're going to pursue this product i definitely would try and kind of milk it as long as possible 86 pence so if you can get somebody to buy two of these things for 34 dollars it's going to cost you two dollars delivered there's over 30 dollars of profit margin in there even kind of worst case scenario if somebody buys one at 17 dollars i'd probably have that as like a minimum of two that's what i would do in fact i would sell one for 20 dollars or two for 35 and more often than not if i had to guess based on my own experience people are going to be more buying more than one of these things they probably have one in the downstairs and the living room and probably one for upstairs in the bedroom so the profit margins aren't bad it's obviously products which is definitely in demand given the level of engagements and positive and encouraging comments that it's got in the space of a month so again if you're looking for a product to build a business around and i definitely think this is a good contender however i do want to be honest with this this is one of those products that has been done before but in a slightly different way so i have a slightly different design of neck pillow so it is quite a competitive market i would approach this with caution and i would only pursue it if this is something you have a passion in and you're willing to commit for the next six to 12 months to build up a legitimate brand behind and so with that being said guys i'm going to wrap up facebook ads friday week 22 i hope you've enjoyed this week i hope you've enjoyed the products you've seen if you want any help getting these launched just leave a comment down below i read every single one so we'll get back to you um, i do have a free training as well which will help you launch it will take you through the steps to launch your product in 21 days if you want to check that out just check out the links in the video description below don't forget to comment like and subscribe if you want to tune in next week for another two winners I'll see you then. Cheers.